Dominique. Dominique, where you calling me from? Jackson, Mississippi. Jackson, Mississippi. How old are you? Yeah. 36. 36? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what you do for a living, baby? Uh -huh. I'm sorry, what was that? Wait, wait. Oh, hey, boo. Hey, boo. Kendra <laughs> kids. Kendra kids. How old, how old? About 36. What do you do for a living, Dominique? Um, I'm a life insurance agent. Life insurance agent do you have any kids yes i have two boys 13 and 6. 13 and 6 both by the same man no two different men. have you ever been married no what kind of man you looking for um uh let's see very intentional um emotional attentive handsome um Know that I know how to communicate. Um, I mean, I'm just looking like <laughs> I guess um, for somebody I could connect with. It's, just, it's so hard to like understand people and like. Here we go, Mississippi. Stand up, stand up, Mississippi. What are we looking at? She got like a tattoo on her throat. We gonna call it a throat. Yeah. Uh, uh huh. Mm. Red hair. Presentation fail. We ain't even gonna get into it, y'all. See what we see. Red <laughs> that red dead hair, a uh, a throat tattoo, throat mm. with a K throat. Mm. She got a throat tattoo. My goodness, I'm like, why is that so crazy? Again, like you getting neck tattoos, that it hurt <laughs> so so bad, and you sitting there. And as a man, you got to sit there, you know, you talk to it, whatever. That hurt like a mamma jamma. You're all tense. Now, imagine a woman doing that. If a woman's sitting there and she got somebody with a needle grinding it to her throat and she just sitting there eating it, uh -huh. that's, a, that's a handsome boy. <laughs> yeah! Boom, takalaka! <laughs> Here we Ain't go. No, Ain't no way. Yeah, her edge is gone, all that. So, here we go. Like, you know, I don't know. I guess it's, it's really hard to explain. Like, how can you say what type of person you're looking for? Outside of just ideal qualities. Like, okay, well, let's, you know, focus, good okay, well, let's focus on what you don't want. So what are your deal breakers, real quick? Um, someone who definitely can't communicate. Um, of course, a liar. Um I won't say cheater because I'm just not really just like ready to jump into a relationship after, you know, like talking to somebody. I want to definitely get to know you, of course, before getting into a relationship. So um, I think men just cheat off of like, well, I don't know. Some men are just really just cheaters to be cheaters. So I guess no cheaters. No cheaters. <laughs> no <liars>. Okay. <laughs> no cheaters. Um, does he have to look a certain way? No, no way particular. Well, um, well, no way particular. No, no. just handsome. That's handsome. I mean, Does he yeah. have to make a certain amount of money? No, I won't say a particular. Well, I will say, no, I won't say. I mean, I know, I know it's very, very hard. Well, with me being a single parent, I'm not gonna say hard, but um. At least over fifty thousand, at least close to like around a hundred thousand dollars. Well, fifty hundred is a wide gap. Like, I mean, I'm, it's hard to live off a hundred thousand dollars. Me being a single parent with two boys, and so I know, like, if you have kids, um, especially like multiple kids, bills, you know, like it's not really, it's not really like a lot. So I don't really know a number. Oh. She in Jackson, Mississippi. She said 100K. Shout out to all my all the Mississippi people in the chat. We rock with y'all. Sure. But y'all know what we talking about more than anybody. Yeah. Yeah, 100K down in Mississippi. That's going to go a long way. Even, <laughs> even in today's market. She, translation, two for two, two, babe, two for two, Shody. Translation. You smoking with cigarettes. <laughs> oh, and here we go. Yeah, we got a drop for her. 100K? Here we go. Oh. $100 billion. Oh. Gentlemen, silence. Now, 
Mr. Evil. It is the policy of the United Nations not to negotiate with terrorists. Really? So long. Uh, we don't negotiate with terrorists, Bonquisha. Uh, Mr. Six Figures. Here we go. This is terrible. Uh, you guys, you guys take care of hey, real quick, thing. it's hard to live off of 100K? Where do you I live? Mean, to me, in my opinion. In Jackson, Mississippi, it's hard to live off of 100K? Well, I mean, if you only got like one, like, you know, yeah, household income and you don't receive like benefits or like, Let me okay, so fair enough. So you make over 100K, right? A hundred. Okay. You make right at 100. 100. So if you make 100 and he comes, let's just say he came with 50, now you're at 150. That is it good enough? Well, yeah, that is, of course. Like together, two incomes, yeah, together, but. Like, I don't want to be with somebody that's only making like ten to fifteen thousand dollars and like I gotta help you pay bills or I gotta like help you all the time and I'm like a single parent. Like, I mean, of course I want someone to help me, but I don't look for people to pay my bills or help with my kids because of course they dads do that. And so like if we in a relationship and we together and like you need some help, yeah, or I need some help, yeah, but I don't know, like, um, like you know, me taking care of you or you taking care of me, um, type situation. I want you to be able to take care of yourself comfortably. And if you want to help me and support things, yeah, but I don't want to be like, um, helping you out all the time. Okay, I understand that. I understand that, but I think that, um, all I wanted to do was, and, I, and again, I'm not saying you can't get no 100k man. But I think the math was wrong because if you come Stop with the cap and he came with 50, let's just say he came with 60, now you're at 160. So it's actually more. It's yeah. less than what you have, but if y'all yeah. join together, it's more. It is. It's just, right, it is. Your, your portion might just be more in the pocket. I'll see y'all in the chat. All right. Stop the cap. All right. I Come on now, we getting attention that car. Drop them Carly caps in the chat, yeah. all the members. Yeah. <laughs> Stop the cap. And like, yeah. I see this super chat. He said, if she making a hundred K, I'm in the wrong business. Who said that? I got a double C, <laughs> all right? Listen, she, this woman with throat tattoos and red hair, what does she do for a living? Yes, yeah, so in, 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 in Mississippi? Yeah, what's she doing down in Mississippi is Mississippi the poorest state in the union? Is it the? The? One of the. One of the, if not At the. At least one of the. Top three. <laughs> bottom three. <laughs> bottom three. So, shit, bottom two, I think, is Mississippi. Then, yeah, I think it's Louisiana. Then Mississippi. Nevertheless, we talking about we poor people problems, all right? That's what we get to. Six figures down there in Mississippi where the gun lines still exist? I think not. Hold on. My girl Danny Nicole said collecting child support, government stimulants. We be off base a lot of times. And even me and Mr. Walker, and, and this is our talking point. Sometimes even we got to come back to earth because these you women know, be making all the 40, 50 K and then everything on top of that. There you go. And we keep forgetting because we it's tough. Got to keep deciphering all this madness. Everything. Every time Bonquisha talk, it's like the Da Vinci code. Bonquisha code. <laughs> It's tough. It's taxing. Uh -huh. So, yeah, Danny, I agree. Yes. Child support, government stimulants, you know, a lot of Food overtime, stamps. all that. Food stamps, baby daddies, tricking, you know, uh, Nate being in bands. It all equates up to about six figures easy work. We get it. Looking like sexy red. Come on. I don't use condoms, baby. Right. I'm the raw dog queen. Uh, what in Come the on. world is Come that? Come on, man. Huh? Huh? That's her. I don't use condoms, baby. Right. I'm the raw dog queen. I uh, you heard her. The <laughs> But we'll right. keep going because I know money child is such a a, 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 a a sticky topic. Um, Here we go, real quick before we get into it. I see my guy Project Leroy. He oh, said Mississippi is the poorest state. So. Okay. So poor, Brett Farr had to collect food stamps. Oh, uh huh. Uh -huh. 
Come on now. I'm, I'm so hurt. I ain't never in my life, in my life, heard a female claim the champion of being a raw dog queen. That is, that ain't it. I'm sorry. That took my breath away. <laughs> God. There we go, man. There we go. <laughs> Does he have to look a certain way? I already asked you that. Okay, let's do the kids again. Already? You wouldn't have got no more. I asked you. Okay, we did Zilbert. Okay, well, does he have to look a certain way? I mean, I guess. You guess um, what, Dominique? Now I'm confused. You said. I mean, you see, you asked all the questions. I'm talking about you told me the, the Kendrick Ham. I mean, like, if it's time to do it, it's time to do it. I thought you had some more questions. What's the last, last question I asked you, Dominique? I can't remember, Kendrick. Well, then, I'm nervous. So Dominique, know. I'm going to get to all the questions. <laughs> I'm Dominique, I don't even say goddamn like that. But I'm going to say goddamn to y'all ass because and I don't like using that. That's the one swear word I don't like to say. But it done rolled off my tongue. Yeah, what the hell am I going back and forth with you? Oh, you made me nervous. You the damn I'm not nervous. Damn. 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 Dominique, get your ass up. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you like a grandmama. You got to play your legs. <laughs> I'm like really short. I'm like 5'2". Um, You're 5'2". Don't do that. You see what I'm saying? Don't be up here spinning and slap your leg because you know this is a pathetic display. And there you, you know, go. You just ask for Mr. Six Figures. Don't be. You Come on. Come on. This is it. This is it. You see. Can you see? I'm short. Yeah. Man. Man. Give me Mr. Six Figures. Man. <laughs> this is sick. <laughs> I'm like really short. I'm like five two. Um, you're five two. Okay. When was your last relationship? Um, 2019. 2019. Okay. Yes. Um, 2019. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask us. Um, the guy. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? Um, I prefer not to answer. Okay. Um, we already got to the money. There's a guy got yeah, nasty. a nasty. No, we, yeah, we did exit. So you did. You just went pretty fast, I guess. Okay. Uh, what are three flaws you have to work on, Dominique? Um, caring too much. Um, well, it, I guess I don't know. You know how you can care too much and like not give a fuck. I guess like does it make sense? No. What? You can't carry that. So well, let me explain. So, like, you know how when I guess when I say caring too much, like, um, like the person maybe that you you're with, um, you just go all out, like all out, and maybe they're not like really a good person for you, and so like you because you love them or grown to love them like you do things and just go all out you just care too much and it's like you're too forgiving sometimes i could be too forgiving and just like caring a little bit too much about a situation or a person when i get really invested but sometimes i can just really just like just be like forget a person like you know like okay what? um is that three flaws i i guess it's about two i don't know you tell me Girl, you, Dominique, you say something. <laughs> Girl, I'm about to, you don't know how to answer. I asked you for three flaws. You don't know if you gave me two or three? Well, there's two. So let me see. I don't, I don't know. I would say I don't have any, in my opinion. You only, you only, you only have two flaws. I would say I don't have any. Oh, but you would say you what? have no flaws? Yeah. Oh, that's why you're single. <laughs> that's why you're single. If you think. You walking around here perfect and you ain't got no flaws. That's why your ass is single because you ain't doing no oh self reflection on the things that you can. Now, now I'm going to give it to you, Dominique. You ain't doing. Oh, here we go. All right. Before Kendra give it to her, all right. We ain't want to do this. Where we at? Bring my guy, real Leo, in. You shut your line, nigga. <laughs> she talking about, I ain't got no flaws. I'm perfect. Come on now. Incorrect. That's that's just not true, Bonquisha. Yeah, there ain't really no need to debate or rebuke what you say it. You know, we rebuke what you say, talking about you perfect. Even Kendra, Kendra said, you're gonna get this. She said, That's why you're single now, Bonquisha. Glory to Kendra. 
Kendra, woo, the power to meet the meat. There you go. Kendra said, that's why you single, Bone Quisha. You will forever be single. You won't get a man like me. <laughs> well, don't got to do all that. Okay, well, let me just ask something. Who do you got to And let's go for anybody. Uh -oh. If you think you're walking around flawless, for real, Beyonce got a song called Flaws and All. So even she knows she got flaws. That's the problem. Y'all don't do enough self reflection on the things you got to perfect and get together. And it's a problem because when you really do think you're flawless, you don't perfect what you need to perfect. And then you're not understanding why a person who you want to date doesn't want to date you back. And if you think, and, and, and you want to date a man that makes bare minimum, you will like a man you're equal and your financial equal, which is 100K, right? Well, you right. should start talking to men who make 100K and ask them, what kind of woman do they like? And just, because it's what you want. I'm not telling you to do this, but if you're curious to know what they like, because that's who you want to date, this is what I do for a living. I ask questions. Start asking those men. And then seeing if you have those qualities of the women that they like, because you said you want to date men like that. Well, yeah, you're right. Do you want to be a wife, Dominique? Yes. Did you always want to be, be a wife? No. Oh. When did you want to become a wife? I, I think made my last relationship. Oh, and what and what changed your mind? But what what made you not? Well, I mean, we were gonna get married, huh? We were what? gonna get married, so what but what happened? We just broke up. Like, why'd y'all break up? I we just just didn't get along. This is like an eighth, eighth grade conversation I'm having right now. You don't know? No, it's not. We didn't get along. Like, I mean, we had a child together. We was together for like over five years, but we just always argued. We never really got along. So why we didn't did you want to marry him in the first place? He wanted to marry me. I said, yeah. I mean, I didn't tell him no. Dominique, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? <laughs> I mean, what? So you look well. I mean, that was like I'm 36 now. That I was like 28, 20. See, 25. See, I, I didn't say no. You think I'm wrong? At the time, I did want to. I just realized I didn't want to. You don't think? So you ain't never trying to shut your mind? Yes, of course. But what I'm saying is you're not articulating. Like, I'm asking you questions I'm thinking I would get deeper explanations from. Seriously. Do Bone Quisha think it's just it, it's never over? Like, you know, you two for two. You up here with that. Your presentation is is subpar. You 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 shoot in shots in the wrong gym. All right. <laughs> oh, like you need to be down there on the Fisher Price hoops. You know, the little Fisher Price boys, you up here on the regulated hoops. Get out of here. Yeah, you out here getting crossed up, dunked on, you catching broken ankles. Gonna get on that Fisher Price hoop with a with a with a wiffle baseball, <laughs> and and go ahead and and play and stay in your lane because this ain't your lane. And Kendra trying to tell her, Kendra asking her simple questions, and Kendra like I'm was I'm expecting to get some better answers out of you, but you just see her talking about you was engaged. You said you was gonna get married, but then you didn't. You didn't say no, but then you changed your mind. And you ain't saying nothing. There's no better way to describe what she talking about other than Joker Tango. Nah, get. Seriously. So we're going to give her her last words and the band at the 50. Here we go. And I don't know. We just didn't get along. Okay. Like, and, and guess what? Nobody. Guess what, Dominique? I wasn't team. He guess. wasn't team. Uh -huh. just didn't get okay, that's that's fine. Now the last question is, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? What? What you want? You want? You want? Go ahead. Well, you you gotta cut me out. I mean, but you ain't got to cut me out I'm not, either. I'm trying to cut you out, but I asked you a question two minutes ago. You chose not to answer it. Well, you said now I, I want to show it right because I didn't give you a deep answer. I want a deep answer because we didn't get along. Okay, I'm not deep as gotta well, be. Well, 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 you don't want to want to stay on that. If you want to stay on it, we can stay on it. What you want to do? You want to argue? Because I'm trying to go to the last no. question. I'm asking the argue. last question because I got to show the host. Do you not want to? Your whole, let me tell you about you. You are very combative. Like, you don't want to just answer the questions. You want to go back and forth. Me, personally, I don't got time. 
Now, if somebody else got time, they could deal with it. I got a show to hold. So do you want to answer the last question of why a guy would be lucky to be with you or not? Well, not me. I'll... Let me think. Uh... Oh. I mean, once you get to know me, I am a really good person. Okay. okay. How can this guy reach out to you? Dominique Marshall on Facebook. Dominique Marshall on Facebook. You're 36. What is your age range? 40 to 45. Days. Okay. Man, you could cut that tension with a butter knife, baby. She, <laughs> they all want, they was in the same room. Y'all women know how catty. If they was in the same room, they would be throwing blows at each other. Man. Yeah, if they was in the same room, yeah, for one, for one, keep it a buck. Yeah, listen here. We done been observing this YouTube space for way too long not to know it's too much cap. If Kendra was in the same room, Kendra wouldn't have had that same tone. That throat tattoo lets you know. Watch your mouth. Bonquisha is in the house. Yeah, Kendra wouldn't have been giving so much pushback in, in person. No. Unless she got a security guard. Unless she got that yeah. six foot seven security guard with her. <laughs> and then Kendra, you she's go. still... You see? Yeah. Bonquisha would have snatched that door to explore headpiece clean up off that scalp. Yeah. Kendra say she can fight. I would love to see it. All right, Kendra, she be talking. I say bull jab. Just because you can holler real loud don't mean you can fight. <laughs> there you go. So here we go. Shout out to my guy, Project Leroy. He come through. He say she doesn't know what a 100K woman looks like. Like 100K woman, man, machine. All right. She, yeah, she did claim to make 100K. That's right. This is bad, man. So she come up here. Why you just told that fantastic ass lie? And here. 100K. Mm. I, I appreciate the pushback from Kendra, though. I do. She need it because this sister here, terrible. Yeah, shout out Kendra. She got her uh, talking points. Kendra be watching these spaces. Kendra said, "You're combative, Kendra, <laughs> yeah. all that." So you're not, you're not feminine. <laughs> yeah, and as Double C say, she belongs to the streets. Right. <laughs> we appreciate the super chat, brother. So here we go. This one here: two kids by two men. She claims that she makes a hundred k, and she says she wants a man to make a hundred k. It's only fair because that's what she makes. Is that fair? <laughs> I, that's, like, what Don say? She still buying pizza rolls at the Dollar Tree. We, oh, yeah. See what I'm saying? You can't come up here talking about you make six figures and you won't miss your six figures living down in Mi Crickletta Crickletta, and. And your on-screen appearance is given dollar store pizza rolls. So, Bonquisha, it's over. Over the hills, through the woods, you came up here playing and joking. This was your final shot. Yes, it was. All right. Over. Easy work. 36, two for two. You was engaged, but then you weren't engaged. Good for you. Godspeed. And shout out to my guy, Southfield Schwarzenegger, says she got two 501Ks, people. <laughs> yeah! Boom, yeah, out of pocket. The notorious 501K. I would like to see the details of that. <laughs> uh, so here we go. We're going to keep it moving. Adios, Bonquisha. Godspeed.